Hello everyone, my name is Brian Petty and I'm a trainer and today we are going to go over just a quick demographic screen overview. So first we're going to select a patient and I'm going to choose a test patient here. And then we want to highlight the area over that test patient and then go down to patient demographics and this will bring us up to our patient demographic screen. So first we're going to just go down from the left column and the account number will auto populate you can now add a prefix so if there if you want to put doctor in front miss mr mrs miss or sir are all right there your last name and first name you also have a suffix and then you have a middle initial as well now you have a previous name section and a newer feature here is a preferred name so you are able, if you have a nickname or whatever um, you would like to be called, the front office can put this in here and it will actually show in multiple places any clinical works. You have your address line one and line two, your city, state, zip, and country. Now you can also validate that and it'll pull up the USPS um, website and we'll make sure that it's a valid address. It will not tell you if that person lives there, it'll just validate that address and add on the extra four digits to the zip code. You have your home phone, your cell phone, work phone and extension if you need to. You can also go ahead um, right here and enable this patient for um, messenger. So you can web enable them, voice enable and text enable them as well. Next, we have the email address. And then at the very bottom here, you also have last appointment. And if you go over to the right, you have next appointment. So you'll be able to see if they do have a, a scheduled appointment in the future. Up at the top, we're gonna have date of birth and it'll automatically calculate your age. You have your sex and a new button that has been added is the SOGI, which is sexual orientation, gender identity. And if we click on that, we can go ahead and select from the fields here. Social security number, if they don't provide it, you can select the not provided here. The next section is responsible party. So if there is um, a responsible party that's in the system, you can click the select button right here and choose either self, another patient or a guarantor. If you just want to put in some parent information, you can click the parent info and you can do a mother name, father name, phone number and email. You can also, for your responsible party right here, set the emergency contact. And this would um, take in the responsible party and move it as well to the emergency contact. Your relation for uh, child is right there. And now your emergency contact, you can choose if it is um, a pediatric pack practice, there might be in the family hub right here. So we can check that. You can also select from a patient and then you have the remove button right here at the very bottom right here we have a brief overview of the account balance and patient balance you can quickly go right into the account details the guarantor balance and the account inquiry now on the right side of the screen we have several different sections so we have your primary care provider which we can select right there we have your referring provider your rendering provider your marital status, your language, race, and ethnicity. And now a new feature has been added that we can multi-select in race and ethnicity. So if I click on the ellipses here and show all, we can actually go in and multi-select. We have birth order, release of information, Rx history consent, and you can scan that in from here as well. Signature date, if there is an advanced directive, you can enter that in here. Employment status, student status, and gestational age. The very bottom down here, we have several different tabs and we're gonna go more into these on how to add these in a different session. But you have your insurances where you can add insurances, your pharmacies, contacts, attorneys, case management, circle of care and employer information can all be added in. 
At the very bottom here, we have another tab where we can do additional information. If we select that, it will open up an additional information screen. In this section at the very top, you have an area where you, if this patient does not want to receive statements, you can select that. Um, you can mark this patient inactive, and you can also exclude this patient from collections. You have a section here for a street address if it's different from the mailing address. At the very bottom here, you are able to mark this patient deceased, put the date in, and any notes associated with that. You have the option to put employer address over here. In a section at the very bottom, you have your default lab company and your default diagnostic imaging company. If that patient had a lab company or diagnostic imaging company they like to go to, you can default it right in this section. And then over on the right-hand side here, we have an area where we can set up any structured data. And we can customize this so any information that we want to collect from that patient, we can uh, fill it in here and have the front office uh, fill this section out and we can be make it market structured so it can be reportable. We can down at the very bottom again, we can add an alert. So if we click this, the alert button, we can go ahead and add a global alert, a billing alert. Um, if there's any insurances alert that were associated with the insurance that was selected right there, it would show up right here as well. You also have a miscellaneous information button and an options tab right here, which has multiple features um, where you can go ahead and web enable a patient, a lot of logs you can view here as well. And then you have the patient security access control button where we can mark a patient um, so only certain people would be able to view this chart. And one more feature at the very top here, we have um, the patient information right to the left of it, we can click on that image and we can actually capture, if you have a webcam, we can capture a picture or we can upload a picture of that patient. And this concludes our session on the demographic screen overview.